Okay, a selfish video. Give me a grade from one to ten, and what kind of person am I? Oh, we're talking about Rihanna Alawala. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I think that Rihan Alawala is very transparent, which I didn't mention that in my list of things that are really important in friends and so forth, but when you're transparent, people know exactly what you're here for. You, they don't hide, they don't withdraw, they're not shy. And I don't mean the person has to be like always in your face, you know, but like Rihan is, you just know right away what's important to him and why he's there. He doesn't crawl off into a corner. So I really appreciate that. It's hard to talk with somebody who won't talk. <laughs> you don't know anything about them and you feel like every time you try to delve into an area to learn more about the person, they kind of close up. So in, in that particular area, definitely Rihan is a 10. I think he's a really good idea person. He can come up with 50 million ideas, and I think that he would come up with even more, but he doesn't share them. He's quietly listening to other people. I see that when we're in conversations where it's me, him, and another person. But he's really big on ideas. I think he definitely comes up with way more ideas than I do. So in that area, Dan. Uh, when I first met him, he was really shy, but now he's not shy at all. He will walk up to anybody and start talking to them. And I know he has good intentions. Now, it's a stranger, remember? So they have no idea, and he's a guy. Now, if it were me, I could probably walk up to somebody, and because I'm a woman, they feel a little more comfortable, right? But even when people act like, why is this strange guy coming up and shaking my hand and asking me who I am and all, you know? He's still very nice and low key. He doesn't act like he's mad about it. So I think that gregariousness that he has achieved at this point in his life is really helps him because he just he just keeps trying. You know, he doesn't give up. I admire that. I admire when people keep working at their goals. They don't give up. They may change their strategies, but they keep their eyes set on the goal. They don't let people push them down. Um, I like how he, so 10 on that. And then another thing I like how Rihan looks at the big picture of things. And he, it, it may be a really big goal that he wants. And you're thinking, there's no way he could achieve that. But the thing is, everything he does to achieve the particular goal is going to work toward making it happen. And it may be made to happen, say for example, if you wanna make the middle class grow bigger in a certain area of the world, because right now there's like this huge lower class, you know, with no income hardly, and then a tiny upper class that rules everything. If you had a bigger and bigger middle class, then, you know, um, people would be happier, very likely. And so that would be the kind of project he would go after. I could just see him doing it. And he would actually come out with some out of the box tools and methods and strategies to do it. And he would somehow get people on board to do it with him. So I think he's really good at crowd gathering and saying, hey, come on, let's do this. So definitely attend there. So these are just some of the many things that I admire Rihan Alawala for. You know, I could talk more. We all like to hear someone talk about the good things about ourselves, right? <laughs> I do. How about the bad things? I can fix them. The bad things. Woo. Let me think. You, you okay, know I will be honest. Years, so there's no one else who knows better. I know. Okay, and I promise you I would love for you to tell me the same thing. And when you start giving me a critique, I won't like it. Nobody likes it, right? But I would love to know the things that you think I should improve on, you know, but I don't know, I guess like maybe, maybe I could give you a concrete example. I remember one time, like I know that MVNOs, mobile virtual network operators can really benefit from the services of DIDX.net. And I have written about it. You know, I've actually written blog posts and press releases and I'm probably gonna include that in a book. I'm actually working on a book, um, it's kind of like, DIDs for dummies. So I said it first, no one else can do it. <laughs> but
But um, that's a great idea. Yeah, I've actually started working on it. So I've got like three chapters written. I've got somebody helping me with it who's in the voice over IP industry, who's a, a published author. Isn't that great? Um, but I remember one time asking Rehan, can you give me some ideas of why MVNOs need something like DIDX? And he started telling me, and I actually have it on video, I recorded it. And, you know, he paused for a moment and I asked him a question and he said, and he does this sometimes, he doesn't realize he's doing it. He said, do you want me to answer your question or do you want to talk? Like, I, he, like he was mad, you know. And in my life of knowing him, he does that a lot, you know, where he will stop you from having an actual conversation, you know. And the conversation is what's important, right? And it would get back to what he was going to share about MBNOs needing DIDX. So that would be one thing. It's not a showstopper, but it's like when somebody does that to you, you're just kind of like a wall comes down over your face. You're like, okay, I won't see a word. <laughs> um, I don't, I, I, right now I can't think of anything else because since I first met Rehan, he has improved in so many ways in all of the ways that I mentioned in the first place you know integrity honesty friendliness open-mindedness you know I don't know he may have some prejudices that he doesn't realize he has and I hope this video stays private because what I'm about to share it's not private. oh then I can't share it there are a couple of prejudices that he has that he is very open-minded but we all like my husband is very prejudiced against people who are not interested in exercising at all. <laughs> Especially if they try to pull on those um, stretchy pants, you know, and then they don't exercise ever, you know. That's him. And I'm probably very uh, prejudiced and not open-minded about certain kinds of people and certain things too. I admit it. But but I think that uh, deep down inside, Reham, even though he's very open-minded, I think deep down inside that if he could become more welcoming toward people from India and from Mexico. These are two countries that I have found in my life of knowing him that the people from those areas of the world, he doesn't seem to get along with them as well as he does with people from everywhere else. He gets along pretty well with USA, you know, European countries, Eastern and Western European. I saw all the videos and pictures from Kenya when he went there, it looked like he got along with people really well there. And of course, Pakistan, Middle East, Thailand, and so on and so on and so on. And he has a lot of friends from India and he has a few from Mexico, I think. But I think there's something about these two countries that gives him a bad feeling. Maybe he's had some bad experiences or, you know, when you grow up in a certain area of the world, uh, well, like for example, here in the South, people, if you're white and you've always lived here and your grandparents and their grandparents and their grandparents, well, they tend to be prejudiced against blacks and vice versa. The blacks who've lived here all their life, they tend to not like white people because there's such a history of negativity, right? So I guess that would be the other possible second thing. And he may say, no way. I love Mexicans. I love Indians. You know, I don't know. Just um, a small observation of mine. Sorry. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. No, <laughs> yeah. Anything else? No, nothing else because Come I on. have really, no, no, I'm telling you, those are the only, see how honest I've been? Those two things were hard for me to share. Very hard, you know? I would share that on Facebook and see what people from India think about that. <laughs> well, we can all work on something, you know? And um, what do you think? Like me, are there certain kinds of people that you notice me kind of shying away from? Really be honest, tell me who you think. No comment. <laughs> I really tried. I really tried to work on that thing in myself. You know, definitely. Cool. Thank you. What can I do to improve myself? What, what can Rihanna Alawala do to improve himself? Wow, that's so hard. Wow. Um, just believe in yourself and your goals stick to them like you have so hard i see you constantly anybody can tell your major goals you know if they follow you on any social media because you talk about pretty much the same things and you're doing things 
to gather people to help you achieve those goals. So just stick with that. Don't give up. Don't feel down when people uh, don't agree with you. Uh, I think one way that you could round up more, this is one thing I would say for improving, one way you could round up more collaboration is to comment on things on other people's social media, like not just your own conversations. Go to other people's Facebook walls or, or click reply on other people's tweets. Go look in different LinkedIn professional groups that you're into and comment about their projects. I think that what that does is make people come and want to look at your profile. Oh, Rihanna just said something about this conversation I'm having about this uh, race or this Ignite meetup that I'm having or something like that. What's he doing? Click. Oh, and then they're more likely to join your conversation. So, but I know you're really focused on what you're doing, but maybe once a day, go comment on something that is really meaningful to you on somebody else's profile or group. That would improve you. It would help you reach your goals that you're after, I think. Yeah. All right, that's it. Yeah, I mean, I could think of other things, but it would take me a while. <laughs> oh, oh, here's a good one. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. You know how you, you know how Rian Alawala really, again, he's highly focused on certain goals, and he wants you to join him, and he will keep after you to join him because he's, he doesn't give up. Remember what I said a moment ago? He does not give up on what's important to him. So I think that, what will the second thing that will help him is you know how people are trying to talk him into doing things that he doesn't want to do he should do them not every single one of them but do some things that take takes him out of his comfort zone so he can remember oh that's why i can't pe get people to add 500 from my network or whatever you know or be added by someone they don't know on facebook so and then what he should do is even start something like that, like once a week, that would be so cool. This is me, out of my comfort zone, but the picture or video is of him doing something that he doesn't really wanna do, but somebody else wants him to do it. Not something that would hurt him, not something that would hurt other people, you know, but just something like putting on running shorts and running a block, <laughs> you know, something like that. People would love it. Oh, they'd go like, wow. If he can do it, I can. I need to start doing things that I've never done before, that I'm afraid to do, you know, that other people want me to do. Then I think that Rihan can get more people on board for his projects, like Rihan School and, you know, putting a mobile phone in every person's hand and, you know, helping people to become literate and get jobs and share what they know with the world. Built the middle class in Pakistan, right? So that's what I think.